What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? How's it going, everybody? My name's Blitzwinger, and ladies and gents, myself and Electric Slide would like to welcome you guys to a brand new episode of Plans vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. And today we're kicking things off in the hub world for the zombies with Electric Slide, of course, one of the brand new zombie characters from the uh, brand new uh, Plants vs. Zombies video game. And we're going to be playing as the Electric Slide in just a moment. But first and foremost, I wanted to go on ahead and put our 120,000 coins to a good use by buying four different Rewardatron capsules. So let's see what we can pull. Hopefully we can get maybe one epic. That would be... Oh! Okay, we got Nemo, so that's pretty cool. We got the CP unlocked. That's kind of neat. We get a rare one, and that's the Kando Doom Jaw. That's kind of cool. Sounds pretty epic, and looks pretty epic. We have two more capsules to go. Let's see what we can pull. Another rare. Okay, we have the Mellow col Color, or Collar, sorry, for the Citron class. And then last, but certainly at least, not an epic. Ah, just a gesture, and that is a Dragon Dance. I mean, don't get me wrong. Dragon Dances are probably cool and all, but we were obviously hoping for... An epic skin. So, with that orb item, uh, or legendary would have been even better, because epic is basically super rare. So, regardless, we're headed right back to Weirding Woods, because we still have plenty of work to get done. As you can see, we are still making our way through the main stories of the game. Of course, don't forget, guys, like I always mention, if you guys do enjoy the Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville videos, I've been uploading a brand new video every single day since this game has gone into the Founders Edition or Early Access, if you want to call it that. So I am very, 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 very highly appreciated uh, or highly appreciating uh, your support on these videos. So if you guys can, please just go on ahead and hit that like button down below. Thank you guys so very much for that. Now, with that in mind, here we are in Weirding Woods, this time, once again, with a brand new zombie character. So let's see just how well we will fare. The hope is that we do get a good performance out of this character. I guess what we can do is, first and foremost, I am curious about this fire over here that we're supposed to feed 500 marshmallows to, or sorry, 200 marshmallows to. It does seem quite expensive, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was worth it, to be quite honest, to spend 200 marshmallows and just one gold gnome. Like, it's not terrible, I guess, sort of, but man, oh man, that is not cheap either, so I'm not sure if that was such a good idea. But uh, regardless, for now, let's continue onwards and forwards. Um, I guess we could talk to Izzy, see what the mission was that she had for us. Don't tell me you are dumb now. What's that? You need the stickers? Lucky for you, I dropped my badges in slime, so they'll stick to anything. Finally, we found the character that has the stickers. Zombie prepared, calling all scouts. Sunflowers have been putting out Izzy's fun forest fires. Help her get revenge to earn cool stickers for the boombox. And that's actually the last component that we're missing before we can build the divine boombox boom to go on ahead and defeat Dreadwood. So the cult's got you fixing a boombox to put a forest to sleep. They're nuts. Wait, you need stickers to fix it. Why not earn some stickery badges? You see, this overgrown forest is filled with pesky pests that need to learn a lesson, especially those sunflowers. Every fun little forest fire he starts, they put out. They, uh, it's really baking my beans. <clears throat> sorry. I sent them my special scout cookies, but I never got there. They never got there, sorry. Smell your way to my cookies. That's your orienteering badge. Okay. Make sure my cookies get delivered. And the cookie delivery badge is all yours. And make as many sunflowers as possible for the first aid badge. But find my cookies first. That's three cool sticker badges to slap on that bo uh, boombox. Ooh, I just get so excited about badges, don't you? Uh, to be quite honest, no, we don't. Now, before we continue, I do want to take a quick moment just just take a peek at the abilities we have as Electric Slide. So we have the Funky Bouncer, which pushes enemies away with a bouncing magnet. We have the Out of Fight, which allows tr to transform into pure energy and gain invulnerability, but it does disable our weapon abilities. And then we have the Disco Tornado, which summons a small electrical whirlwind, uh, and then if we press... R1, of course, that button will be different depending on what console you're playing on, to expand it into a damaging tornado. Sounds pretty cool. Okay, follow the cookie smell. So the cookie smell increases as we get closer to it, so that's quite nice. We definitely need to start recovering some of our coins, that's for sure. After all the spending we've done. Nope. Seems to have decreased as we started moving that way. 
Oh, hello. Wow, we don't do a whole lot of damage, do we? I am curious to see how much this does. Oh, wow, that's actually really good. As far as abilities are concerned. Definitely pretty solid ability. Okay, let's follow this cookie smell. So it seems to lead us this way, correct? Ha ha! Might these be our foes? Because they just spawned. It's the champion sunflower that we need to defeat. Okay. Defeated the sunflower. Okay, that worked out kind of nicely. We do get ourselves a lot of coins, which is brilliant from the treasure chest back there as well. And so I am guessing we're able to continue. Holy moly, that's a lot of toilet paper. Look at that. Okay, so dig up the cookies. Wait, they hid the cookies underground? What kind of a weird thing is... That? Whoa, that's a massive cookie. Okay, we found it. Chocolate chip? My cookies are not basic. Keep sniffing. Wait, so these are the wrong cookies, I guess? What's wrong with chocolate chip cookies? That's probably the only type of cookie that I usually would eat, but that's probably lame, right? What's your favorite type of cookie? Let me know in the comment section below, because I'm actually trying, kind of having a tough time thinking of many flavors of cookies. I'm like, chocolate chip, there's like uh, oatmeal cookies, right? And there's like raisin cookies. Oreo. Does Oreo count as a cookie or is it just like some sort of weird thing? I don't know. You guys let me know because I'm not a particular connoisseur of the snacking industry. Okay. There we are. So, it, oh, nope. Looks like we are supposed to head this way. Another wildflower and another pea shooter. Okay, we got a Vanquish, which is pretty neat. No. Where? Why did the smell just go away? There we are. That does some substantial damage. Okay, we should be able to hide... What the heck? Come on! Oh, more acorns! How's that not hitting? There we go. I think we're supposed to just defeat that sunflower there. There we go. Whoo! Alright, that was pretty intense. Vanquish nearby enemies. Which ones? Wait, I thought we had vanquished all of them. Wait, are you kidding me right now? What does it mean by vanquish nearby enemies? There are no nearby enemies. Did I miss one? Hello? Plants? Is that that one? It might be. I mean, that was about the only enemy left. There we are. We did it. That one just ran away on us. That'll teach him to prevent forest fires. Get digging. Okay. So the, here is another batch of cookies, probably. This one is another chocolate chip cookie. So I'm guessing this one's not going to be the right one again, right? Oh, oatmeal raisin. I was right. We're looking for cookies, not garbage. Sniff on. Okay. So I'm guessing we're headed this way, right? Am I right about that? see as long as the cookie smell increases then we know that we're on the right track and it sure seems like this is where we're supposed to go okay we should probably defeat the giant flower or sun first 
so that it cannot constantly heal them. Okay. Back up! There we are. We've vanquished all those enemies, and we earned a bunch of marshmallows as well. Now dig. Okay. Is this the right cookie? Let's find out. Nothing... Nothing happened. There was no... What is happening? Okay, that is not a cookie. That's a gargantua carrying a bomb, bro. Um, guard cookie. As he brings the sunflowers an explosive treat. Okay. So we're supposed to guard him. Does he really need guarding? I think it should be the other way around. He should be guarding us. No? Am I wrong to say that? Okay. Man, that, um, what is that ability called again? Funky Bouncer? It's actually quite good. It's like really useful. In a multitude of situations. Should we have stuck closer to him? Yeah. Guess we pushed a little too far ahead. Because I'm just worried, like, if we move ahead, and even if we do defeat these guys, they might spawn in again right as he walks by, because he's probably the character that, like, triggers events to happen. Okay. Uh, I gotta defeat the dandelions. Where are you off to? Why are you going this way? That route was so much easier to take. Okay. Of course, he's going to take the route that makes zero sense. Come on. Hurry on up. Did we do it? Okay. I think we have succeeded. We did good work, everybody. Congratulations. We get to celebrate, hopefully, the three stickers that we need for the uh, boombox thing. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. <laughs> uh, Dreadwood tossed my cookies. So rude. Dude, that was crazy. Okay. Um, so what are we supposed to do? Defeat the sunflowers. Is that just not doing any damage? Come on, electric slide! There we go. Oh, okay. So we have defeated all of those. And now appears the mega sunflower, huh? Possibly. Hello, sunflower sovereign. Battle this royale. <laughs> Good pun. Get it? Because everything is battle royale games nowadays. Can we push him back? Oh, you cannot. I guess because he's like a boss fight. Okay, should be able to take no damage. And then heal up over here. Okay, we are definitely able to do some good damage here. Got a few coins. Okay, he's becoming vulnerable. Gets our power from the sunspots. Blast them. Where are they? Oh, are they behind us? Okay, that's convenient. It actually makes it appear on our mini-map. Or not mini-map. Uh, I guess just like as a little indicator. Oh, there's only a, a limited amount of time that we have to defeat them. We gotta hurry up. Come on, electric slide. Go! Use your speed boost. Hurry up. Okay, come on, please. There we go. That was cutting it close. Okay. We already got him down to like half health. Getting constantly healed as well. Oh. 
Okay, we gotta heal up first before we proceed to the next fight. Literally have one HP. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't have been fighting there. We should have... Uh, what we should have done is probably just... Wait, quest retry? It resets the whole thing? Okay. That is news to me. Okay, wait. No, it doesn't reset the whole thing, right? Oh, it does reset the whole boss fight. Got it. Okay, well, duly noted. We can't actually respawn against this thing. So no point in even trying. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Where did you guys come from? Is it going to be the same spots again or no? Oh, it's not. That's uncalled for. Okay. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Somewhere over here this time. So it does seem to spawn the sunspots uh, in random locations. It's also nice to finally know the name of these things specifically. Okay. Just going to hit him with a tornado attack. Okay. We healed a decent amount. Okay, so we've gone back into invincible mode. Does this mean it's going to be a sunspot or no? Guess clearly not. Hurry up. Oh, great. It spawns other flowers to battle. In the meantime as well. Wait, there's four this time? This is absurd. It has us battling so many different enemies. And then, of course, we also have to remember that we can't get vanquished even once. Because if we do, that resets the entire boss fight. Oh, found a treasure chest, too. Definitely want to try to get that in a little bit. But first, got to stay focused on this. Plus, the other thing is I'm still learning how to play this character. Because this is a brand new character, so... Taking a little bit of effort here to just learn what this character does, how it plays compared to some of the other zombies that we've already played as. Okay, he's gone back to invincible mode again. Okay, I should be focused on this. Cannot be fighting right now. So we're gonna get crushed. Please? Please hurry up. There's only 10 seconds there. There's very little room for error there. Okay. Still have like 40 seconds to work with, so plenty of time. Okay. Ouch. St starting to take damage now from different plants! Okay, lay off me! Okay. Okay. Still have 46 seconds to go. Plenty of time here. This is not such a bad idea of taking down some of these other plants. Okay. Come on. Okay, we have to hide. I have to heal first. I cannot risk taking damage! We just have to hide. Come on, heal up, please. Start healing. Oh, that did so much damage! That was great! Wait, 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 What in the heck was he just doing? Okay, so he's powering back up. How can I defeat all of these sunspots? There's no way. Oh, that scared me. I was like, there's no way we can defeat, like, a thousand... 
sunspots. Ha ha. He's back to save us, the Gargantuar. Everybody, type in hashtag Gargantuar rocks. Boom shakalaka. That's how we defeat this thing. Oh, I was wondering. I was like, there is no way that they honestly expect us to go vanquish however many items there were there. That was crazy. We got the trophy earned for gun camping. So that's pretty cool. Hey, you're here. And you got the sacred batteries, the lullaby tape, and the cool stickers. Wait, is cool stickers from Crazy Imp who hates us? You is really dumb to talk to her. She's scarier than Dreadwood, sorta. Once I fix the boombox, you make Dreadwood sleep so you can sneak in close. Then Dreadwood, Dreadwood vanquish you while dummy escape and we live doubly ever after. Here, boombox fixed now. You not see me fix? Hmm, your eyes is too slow. Okay. And your brain is too fast. Good. Googly moogly. Okay, well, I guess with that being completed, we have the boombox radio tower in Stirring Swamp. Play sleepy song over speakers. Use the boombox there. No! Okay, well, not quite yet. We have other concerns to deal with. So that is definitely going to be the next big thing that we're going to deal with. But I think we're going to save that for the next part because I do want to try to get some other uh, challenges completed in the meantime, including the um, treasure chest that was... I think it was right here, wasn't it? Yep, there it is. Okie dokie. Back up, enemies. Come on, electric slide. Well done. Definitely don't want to step on that, though. If possible, we'd like to avoid that damage. My gosh, these plants are so ridiculously overpowered. Come on, defeat this thing. But we're doing some work, I tell you. Come on, champion flower, bring it on. Whew, okay. That was pretty terrifying. But we did succeed. Let's get this treasure chest opened up. What do we get inside? A whole lot of treasure. That's pretty nice. Very, very cool. So we get 20 marshmallows as well as, I think it was a thousand coins, I believe. That's pretty sweet. Um, now, last time, did we attempt this? I don't recall. I think I had intended to see where this takes us. Oh, okay. So this just takes us back to this route. Okay. So this is actually back at the stirring swamp. That's kind of nice. Should we choose to explore the stirring swamp? Watch out! Uh oh. There's dread roots everywhere. There's also treasure chests everywhere. So we will take the time to collect that. That's very nice. Thank you, game. Much appreciated. Destroy that. Get a little bit of extra treasure. Okay, should be able to just leap across this. That's pretty nice. Um, can't get up there. Can't get up there either. I just wanted to make sure that we at least um, did a little bit of exploring uh, for loot and items and collectibles and such. So that we have kind of a nice balance of progressing in the main story, which we certainly did today because we're, we're literally set up now to go into the biggest boss fight um, of all, whatever that might be. Why did that sound like there was a gnome or something? Hmm, maybe not. So we're ready to rock and roll in that sense. But we obviously have a whole bunch of other concerns to deal with as well. Holy moly. Okay, that's terrifying. That will never get old. It's pretty terrifying. Okay, let's bring this up for a second. I'm just curious to see where the treasure chests that we found have already been located. So it looks like there probably is a treasure chest somewhere in here. I would guess just based on... Like the ones that you can already see. So like the ones that kind of like grayed out like that are treasure chests that we've already located and uh, unlocked. Oh, is this another one of these challenges? Oh, cool. I came here to do a little hiking, but let's just say filling my water bottle did not go great. Now that I'm down here, I love it. I'm practically at a resort. A crystal dog would really spruce up the place. Find one and I'll send you a thank you gift. Thank you. So the way we find one of those is by defeating one of those like metallic um, sunflowers that sometimes randomly spawns. So that'll be something that we have to kind of keep on the lookout for. Um, 
so before we continue that way, I do want to take a look around and just see what else we can find around about here. We never did also find the um, gnome shrine, did we? We never saw what it actually looks like um, in this particular hub world. So we need to go check that out in just a moment here. What's up with all these rubber ducks? I feel like there's probably like a medal for like taking them down or something. I could be wrong, of course. Let's follow the directions and uh, this should take us to... Uh... Where am I going? Am I going this way? Okay. This should take us to the Gnome Shrine, which I definitely want to check out. A Marigold is near. Okay. How would I know where it is? Oh, it's actually behind us. My gosh, we do so little damage. I don't think we would be able to defeat this thing. Holy moly, this thing is so quick. So this was, by the way, the thing that I was talking about. The silver... No! You've got to be kidding me. Come on! How have we not vanquished this thing yet? There we go. Yes. So now, we have picked up... Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't take damage. Please don't take damage. Please don't take damage. Please don't take damage. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. Keep jumping, electric slide! Okay, that was terrifying. So we need to go find the well over here. There it is. And this time you guys get to see what happens. Check this out. Thanks for the crystal dog. Now to hold it precariously high. Sorry, hold it. Wait, what? Now to hold it precariously high so I can see it in the light. Oops, that noise wasn't the dog shattering, but something else. Hey, see if you can find another. Okay, you kidding me right now? Really? After all that, well, at least we get the medal, so that's kind of nice, right? And 10,000 coins. Okay, I don't mind. And it's his problem for destroying that thing. Now we don't feel as bad, because it's like, at least we got our um, reward for completing that not particularly easy task, I will say. That much for it. Yikes. Okay. Head this way. Just curious to see if we collected everything over here. Maybe there's something up here. Hello. You sense a faint gnomish energy. That means there's a gnome somewhere. Obviously. Now it's just a matter of us trying to figure it out. Come on. You have been defeated, gnomes. Or, <laughs> the gnomes haven't been defeated. We need to defeat the gnomes in order to unlock um, the gold items. I guess not really defeat them, find them. Hmm. I wonder what that means, 12. Could there be a button somewhere that we just did not see? You sense a gnomish energy. Usually it has a red button that you have to press most of the time. Not on like that one, but that's not a button there. We're certain of that. There's nothing down there that resembles a button. Sometimes they put them like as part of the wall or like the stone. But I don't see it right now, so I guess just for the sake of not... Sitting here the entire time. We can move along. Just checking if they put it maybe on this face of the rock here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Hmm, that's very peculiar. Yeah, that's quite odd. Because usually it's relatively simple to spot. Like, it's not like an absurdly crazy difficult thing to locate. It's a little surprising that we couldn't find it there. What is happening? Come on! Defeat that pea shooter! There we go. 
Okay. This is chaotic. I'm trying to also decide, guys, who should we play as for the next episode? Because I'm worried now. I'm like, I'm thinking, I don't know what we can expect with Dreadwood as far as like the boss fight. We don't know what to expect from that boss fight. So because of that, it's going to be really important for us to go into that fight with hopefully like a good character, obviously, so that we can not guarantee a win, but at least increase our chances substantially. That would be great. Okay. So, with that all in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to say our goodbyes here for today. Uh, overall assessment on the um, Electric Slide character, I really love how quick she is. Like, she's super duper quick and agile as a character. It's really, really, really quite helpful in many different situations to just be able to jolt out of the way. But the only thing that is a little confusing is that for a character that's this quick, it is odd that not only is she incredibly quick... But she also then has the ability to go invincible and turn into like an energy burst uh, by if we click this, for example, you'll see. So we turn into an energy ball and this kind of seems to be almost the same as just being able to move quickly. But I guess it does give you the ability to be invul invulnerable and um, also you take no damage and... I guess you do give up your attacks, though, so it, it's well-balanced. It's just I wonder if she really needed to have both abilities, like where she is able to move fast, but also at the same time, she's also got the energy ball ability. I almost wish she maybe had some other ability because I think it would have made the character a little bit cooler. Uh, but then again, that's just my two cents um, on the matter, and obviously uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments section Below. Also, while you're down there, don't forget to hit that uh, like button. And in addition to that, if you guys can, please let me know which zombie character you guys would like to see gameplay for on the next episode. Because like I said, we are trying to mix it up for every episode to play as a different zombie. Uh, that way it doesn't get redundant and we keep mixing it up um, to try out all the different ones that are available. It is obviously extremely difficult because in many situations it's just... Some zombies are terrible for certain situations. And in some situations, I literally can't play as certain zombies. So, to wrap things up, what I want to do is try to complete this time the Gold Gnome Challenge that we so miserably failed at completing the last time. Okay. What the heck? Ow. Can I... You've got to be kidding me. So literally because that guy hits us and because that other Marigold spawned and hit us, we lose. Can I? Does that count? Oh, that is brilliant. Okay, that's actually really good. So that shows you how useful that ability can be and how much it can save you. Because you can literally go invulnerable while completing one of these Golden Gnome challenges. That's pretty useful. That is very, very useful, in fact. So forget what I said. I take it back. That was very, very awesome and super cool to see that ability in a uh, good showcase. So with that all in mind, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said before, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. See you later. Alligators. Celebration Nation.